Welcome to, oops, that's a pause. There we go. <clears throat> Welcome to game two between Master Ray and Nilsi. Master Ray now in the gray at the 12 o'clock location. Nilsi as the pink Protoss, love the alliteration. At the six o'clock location, this is gonna be on blind side. And again, I'm gonna do map reveal once again. Although it looks like we're seeing some cheese right off the bat from, Mil from Nilsi. He's sending an immediate probe out. Maybe realizing that Master Ray is such a strong player, wants to make sure that he is kind of going to throw some sneaky stuff at him because he is such a intelligent player. Um, obviously, Hasu League reigning champion, so going to do everything he can to try to pull out these matches with all sort of sneakiness, and he's winding that probe around. Here's the thing, though. If he tries to go for proxy in Master Ray's base, we know that Master Ray is extremely diligent about checking for proxies. I, I don't remember seeing him play a single match where he did not look for a proxy. But uh, if he goes to a corner, this is blindside. There's a lot of open space to kind of sneak odd things. And it looks like there is a pylon. So being warped in near the third expansion. So we're going to go ahead and do a map reveal so you can kind of see where this is at. So this is near the third base. This is the natural expansion. And it's not on the typical scouting path. There's a lot of area to kind of sneak this sort of thing. Also, this is another map where you don't really have a true ramp, which is why I felt like a lot of the, because of the map poolings, PvP was going to move a little bit faster. Because this is not a true ramp. It doesn't give you the, the high ground advantage. And it. I think this is, I think that's double wide, where several units can kind of fit over. At least I think two or maybe even three zealots can sneak across. I'm not positive, because I have not played this map uh, myself. But I guess we're going to find out momentarily, won't we? Double gate to start. We do see the single gateway from Master Ray. He is plopping down an assimilator. And honestly, I think there's going to be zealots moving towards his base before he even sends out that initial probe scout, uh, unfortunately. So this might be a quick 2-0 for Nilsi. We'll see. Maybe Master Ray can sneak something out. But again, with the map features that are out here, I think it's going to be very difficult to fight this off. Getting that cybernetic core down before his first zealot. Ah! Oh, Master Ray, Master Ray, Master Ray. This is not looking good. He really needed that first zealot to be able to buffer the line. So he's going to have to pull probes regardless. Maybe with some Miracle Micro, he'll be able to pull this match out. Both gateways now up. They're going to start pouring Zealots out. Probe Scout making his way up towards Master Ray's base. He is dropping a pylon into that back line. Honestly, you might want to... That's going to... That might have been a line of retreat for his... For his units at this stage. And a proxy pylon being placed to the north. That Did Master Ray even see that? I don't think he did. He's still continuing with that scout. And that is a location where perhaps a shield battery could be dropped at forward location. Master Ray is sitting nearby. He does now have one Zealot out on the front, but this is going to be against two, first of all, Zealot and a Probe, with more Zealots following this up very rapidly. It looks like now Master Ray realizing that he is, in fact, being proxied. There's that shield battery at the forward location. Two Zealots now in his main, trying to get a second gateway down. This is going to be rough. Maybe, maybe if he can get some sort of defense out with this Dragoon, that initial Zealot almost getting pinned in. Now the Zealot's getting on top of the Probe lines. Disrupting a little bit of mining. Master Ray defending this fairly well, but keep in mind more Zealots are going to be here momentarily. First Dragoon is out, and this is going to be kind of... Th these next moments of the fight are going to be the critical ones. The Zealots trying to run, lure that out, while reinforcements make their way up. More Zealots being produced, uh, making their way this direction. A I was looking for a third gateway, but just a second pylon. The Zealots engaging right there, stutter stepping to allow the Dragoons to do their work. Two more, so it's now four Zealots versus... It's going to come down to Micro at this stage. Four Zealots... These two did not peel back to get on top of that shield battery, but there are more Zealots making their way in. Honestly, this is kind of going to come down to a bit of micro from Nilsi if he can get some of those Zealots that have been damaged back to that shield battery. Second Dragoon now out. Zealots all over the place. Some of them working on that pro line. Additional Zealots not able to get on top of the Dragoons, and two of them taken out, honestly, without a lot of hoopla. And Master Ray defending this beautifully at this stage with his Dragoons. He's just walked these Zealots around and not let them get in the drone lines. A uh, Photon Cannon now proxy for Nilsi, with four Zealots continuing to pour in. And you can see, yeah, it's a double wide ramp, for, so two Zealots can sneak on that corner. But now Master Ray has the big advantage, just because he microed his way out of that fight. Honestly, I thought when he went for the 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 uh, Cybernetics Core before first Zealot that he was doomed. But instead, able to really punish Nilsi's, I don't want to say lack of decision making, but inability to get on top of the probe line, inability to get on top of the Dragoons, and just able to dance around his base and micro very, very well. Even that, even with low APM. I think that's the thing that people make the mistake with Master Ray, is they think low APM means like lack of precision or lack of micro, but Master Ray has shown time and time again that, yeah, okay, yeah, he has low APM, but that doesn't mean he can't win these fights 
uh, honestly, with considerable advantages. More results pouring in. It's not over yet. Nilsi trying to seal him out of his natural expansion, warping in additional cannons. Mast Ray working on Dragoon range at this stage. Here's the thing. Once you have enough Dragoons... Once you have enough Dragoons, they can just, yeah, batter your opponent. This is kind of... The, the thing for Nilsi is, oh, he needs to be a little bit careful. This is, is where that misfire rate can happen, taking losing all of his shields on an initial Dragoon. Three... Photon cannons now at the natural expansion. A cybernetic score being warped here. So this is basically the second base for Nilsi. If Nilsi can somehow lock Master Ray in, get his no own natural expansion up, get a good Dragoon Force running, maybe he can make this work. I think his plan here is, is okay, I'm going to get my cybernetic score up. I'm going to try to continue to produce Dragoons. He is a little bit behind in the overall pro count. This is effectively one base versus one base, but keep in mind this is a lot of static defense invested uh, on the front here. <clears throat> for Nilsi, plus a Forge. That's kind of the difference in the overall economy. And in the meantime, Master Ray is free to just build Dragoons. However, because of this ramp feature, he's basically got Master Ray pinned into one base. Master Ray's ticket out is having enough forces to hold out all this back, somehow get a shuttle, robotics facility building right here, somehow getting a shuttle and sneaking that down to Nilsi's base, where he has absolutely zero defense. Citadel of a Dune warping in for Nilsi at the natural expansion, so maybe a follow-up of... This is a nutty match. So maybe a follow-up of Dark Templar, maybe a follow-up... Uh, I assume not High Templar, so maybe going to try to sneak Dark Templar, thinking that Master Ray... This is kind of like next-level thinking here. Thinking that maybe Master Ray is going to opt to not go for Observer first, and instead go Reaver or something along those lines. I think, honestly, with a, a shuttle and an observatory to follow up, Master Ray will still be okay. Um, I'm curious if he's even going to be thinking about that. Range has kicked in. That shield battery is going to get wiped out as a result. So less defenses on the front here for Nilsi. Is he going to warp in another shield battery? I don't think he is. And here's the other thing. If Master Ray even just presses this front a little bit, he's going to see that Citadel of the Dune. And he'll be able to press from there. Templar Archives warping in. There is an initial shuttle and a robotic support bay. And an observatory. So the question is, is after this initial shuttle is being built, honestly, you could just elevate her two zealots and, and play from there. Interestingly enough, Nilsi going for zealot leg speed on top of everything else, wanting to just, I don't know. I'm not sure that maybe the work, I, I feel like he's already invested so much in Dark Templar. Might have to work it from there. The probe is retreating. Looks like Master Ray is just going to elevate her those troops. He's producing Reaver before Observer. But we do have a Dark Templar on the way. So this is going to be this is going to be close. Elevating some of those troops. So it could... Wow, this is going to be a really close back and forth match. A little bit of a flat troop advantage. And Master Ray... Okay, only three Dragoons to defend his front. This is... This might turn into straight elimination fight. And in a straight elimination fight, I think Nilsi might win just because he has these three cannons on that corner. All of Master Ray's attack force pouring out. Dark Templar has warped in. Plus, keep in mind, Zealot Leg Speed. I guess that might be the logic between the Zealot uh, behind the Zealot Leg Speed is they can kind of cut corners both directions more rapidly. The Observer waking its way, but here's the Dark Templar out on the front, and it's going to slice its way through that first Dragoon. Master Ray has elevated all of those troops out. Doesn't have a cannon warping in. Is he going to be able to get on that Robo before that? I, don't, I think that Observer should be able to get out before not too long. Trying to blockade is going to end up losing some probes. This is a nutty match. So that's five probe kills. Six. Maybe six. Doing good job disruption. Now see that Reaver revealed. Takes care of that Dark Templar on the front. That Reaver should be able to batter those cannons to the right. Nilsi with that, the rest of the army realizing that army has been elevated out uh, to the back corner. Now Master Ray in strong command of this match. Has three gateways. Everything he needs to to take down that uh, force to the right. And Nilsi in a bit of panic. Trying to get... He has a cannon at his main. Trying to warp in a gateway. I don't think he has enough, he just doesn't have enough to defend everything that's there. Does have Dragoon range warping in, he does have Zealot leg speed. Has a sizable army, trying to get his Nexus up before Master Ray does. So just kind of throwing everything out there to try to sneak back in this match. But Master Ray, I don't know, I feel like he has all the pieces to go ahead and win this match. Two Dragoons going to be approaching this attack force from kind of a catty corner location. A very, very nutty... Kind of razor thin margins on both sides. That dragoon getting wiped out at least spots everything and knows what he's up against. The second dragoon filtering through. The rest of that army gonna march out to the natural expansion for an opportunity to engage. But this reaver gonna be the X factor. Now Nilsi, so Nexus canceled. Now Nilsi boxed in his base. 
comparatively. So kind of interesting side tech, dropping two gateways. So he's going to be at basically five gateways overall, which basically puts him all in as far as raw production goes. Master Ray has him boxed into his expansion. As soon as he has a second Reaver, which is coming along shortly, looks like he supply capped himself a little bit right this moment. Should be able to wipe everything out that's in his natural expansion, slowly marching forward. Reaver almost gets picked off. Some nice Micro Master Ray to scoop that up. Another Dark Templar produced, but there is an Observer overhead. Keep in mind, Dark Templar are pretty good against Zealots, just good attack units at large. The Zealots cre uh, somehow sneaking around from that back area, not able to get on top of the Dragoons, however. The probe's in flight, and that is going to be Reaver bait. And there's GG from Milsey <laughs> with a smile. Yeah, Master Ray just having the tech advantage. That was, uh, that was a fun match, though, overall. Honestly, for a large part of that, I'm like, man, this could go either way. Okay, we move on to game three, or sorry, uh, yeah, game three. Each player has one game apiece. Some nice, fun, creative play for game two.